back to my channel. My name is Grace. For those of you who don't know me, uh, today I'm going to be filming this look right here at home because I have so much time on my hands now if I ignore all the workflow that I have behind me. Anyways, today I'm actually here with my brother who's filming for me for the first time. Shout out to my brother. Say hi. Uh... He's so happy he's here because now he actually gets to use his like spare time and talent in filming. So yes, my brother is in the filming industry and he's a photographer. So if you need somebody to help you with that, I will link all his stuff down below as well. So if you guys want to see how I got this super quick and easy and really dewy and natural look, just keep on watching. All right, I guess we shall get started. So it's not like dressing to go anywhere today. But I thought to do this video. This is the quarantine look. Yeah, I still have a lot of, well, not a lot, but some work to do. Um, but I gotta get this out of the way because I have another video to film today at 4 p.m. with my friend. Oh, um, this is just to hydrate my face. This is the e.l.f. Prep and Hydrate Balm, which is super rubbed off. But. Up next, I'm going to go in with this Hello Fab Coconut Skin Smoothie Primer, Priming Moisturizer. I like it moist everywhere all the time, 24-7, 365 days a year. Is that right? But I love my glow and the dewy and the moist, so I'm going to mix this together. So typically, I already put on a primer, but I'm going to do it again because I can. So on the back of my hand, I'm going to pour, pour, squeeze out, maybe a little bit more. I love this primer. It's a very light, underwhelming scent of coconut. So for those of you guys who don't like fragrance and or just like a tad bit may appreciate this. And I'm going in with this YSL Touche Clot Glow thing. Glow shot. It's the gold one. I don't know how many shades they have to be honest. So I'm just going to mix this in the back of my hand. I did too much. What's the solution when you do too much? Well, here it's okay because like in every party, I never underdress. It's always better to overdress. And since your face? Yeah, why not? I mean, and um, since it's like, and it's kind of absorbing really well into my skin anyway, so I think I'm gonna be okay. And I like to do my face in sections. And this applies to almost every single base product because things do tend to dry up pretty fast. Um, well, it depends That's on. That's what she said. No. That means he sucks. When I mean by things tend to dry up pretty fast, I mean the products that are more towards the mattifying type of products. Those shit will dry up so fast. But then again, I wouldn't know too much because I don't really use mattifying products. Okay, see? Actually, that was perfect. So now, um, I'm not doing foundation. I'm just gonna do concealer because, where am I going? <laughs> Plus my skin is already so good. Yeah, that's right. Choose Eight. your own horn. I, I have no problem with my skin, but granted, in the next probably 30 to 50 years, it's going to drop like a porcelain do doll because Asian, you know, um, we look super good until we hit a certain time and then everything just drops. Gravity works 50 times more than it should be and it's just, everything just done. All your secrets, all your childhood trauma just shows up on your face and everything. That's what I heard. So now I'm just gonna buff everything in. I just realized I've been using the monitor as my mirror, but I forgot I have this baby. It looks kind of orangey on me now. I thought I would be getting lighter, like being inside all the time, but I'm relatively the same because I got so light already. So that concealer I use just to really kind of brighten everything. Now I'm going to go in with this uh, like really kind of dark concealer. This is the Revolution um, Conceal and Define. So I use this one to kind of cover up any marks that I have that I don't want to show. Ooh, Nutella. Yeah, I'm just covering up like red marks. To be honest, there's not really anything on my face I need to cover up, but I'm just like, I feel like there's a few rashes that have grown on my face ever since we've been quarantined. I'm on day 14 and it's kind of crazy. I was trying to tell my girlfriend Emily that actually I think it's a myth 
that you think your skin is going to do better if you rest by not wearing makeup for a certain amount of time. Complete myth. Okay, it's been 14 days. I've worn makeup only on client meetings on calls. Um, so maybe like once, twice a week, no more. And I feel like I'm getting these like little harmless little acne, like whitehead type of things just around here. Um, especially body acne, like especially like behind my shoulders and my chest. And it's not being crazy. It gets scratchy and then like... Would that be more because you're staying inside? I think so, right? Like, I, I don't know if it's like because it's our house dusty. So then, now I'm just gonna go in with my favorite cream blush at the moment. It's the one that you have seen in the last five videos that I used. So it's really nothing crazy. And I'm running out, so I'm happy. I always am very happy when I'm running out of products. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you see that I do empties on my stories in real time. Like as soon as I finish them, I always put them up on my stories right away and give it like a little review. I know that I already applied the glow in with my primer, but who am I if I don't apply more glow? So I'm gonna go in with basically the same product because it's not an overwhelming glow. So, but I like I like lit from within glow. I like a touch of it on on my cheeks, like a cream glow, and then I slam it on with powder, highlighter, illuminators, you name it. So I just like all the. Glow. I'm gonna go in with my ring fingers and just dab. And then I'm going to buff it in later with the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge um, to really make sure it's like completely seamless and stuff. I think it's so much better. I look so white. Am I this white in real life? So I'm not going to go in with powder because I feel like my skin has been freaking dry this entire time we've been inside. Uh, the only powder I'm going to use is actually just for my brow areas just to make sure that um, when I apply the brow, brow product, it's going to go in very smoothly and pigmented because you don't want it to slip. I like actually to do my brows last. We're not going to film this part because brows are so... What, I, what I'm saying is we don't need to put it in because they're not overrated, but what I'm saying is it's the same shit. Yeah, I'm just keep this going because uh, just in case you say something funny. I've been waiting. Here. I am funny. <laughs> And if anything, I make your life funnier. You make my life exhausting. It's your life's a joke. Wow. But for those of you who don't know who my brother is, um, he's actually a photographer. He's currently looking for more gigs. He... So I'm stuck here helping her with her makeup videos. I mean, might as well. Um, I'm using my good old Etude eyebrow pencil that I've been using since... 2011. I've switched up here and there, but I always end up with this whenever I've run out of other more expensive brow products. And yeah. Are you out right now or are you just using it because quarantine? No. To be honest, actually, I can't find my Dior brow pencil. I don't know where it is. It's like my favorite luxury one and it's gone and I'm really mad and I don't want to talk about it because then I'm going to get mad. Talk about it. I'm going in with my Miss Teen brow powder that literally costs 108 baht. You can get it at Miss uh, at Boots at Watson's. Well, normally you could. They're still open. They're pharmacies. Oh yeah, that. Okay. But you know what's not open? Liquor stores. If I run out of wine, which is actually very soon. Um, Already? You just bought three bottles. I have. Two left. Okay. I'm about to finish one today and then I'll have two left. And then that's gonna go fast this weekend. I'm not really being super precise with my brows today. Uh, okay. Normally I am, but um, I'm just gonna go in with my Benefit brow gel. This is the wrong color for me. I'm just gonna use it because my boyfriend got it for me. And no, he did not like choose the wrong color. It was the last one on the aisle. His thoughts accounts. Love you, man. Oh, you know what? I didn't finish that story I was trying to tell. So, <clears throat> I was talking to my best friend, Emily, and this is about your skin. I finished a part of the story, but my point is this. I once read an article on birdie.com, and <clears throat> if you guys are legit beauty for people, you will know birdie.com. 
and it's an old article from a couple years ago and this doctor like a skin doctor was like you know what giving your skin a rest from makeup is a myth and I discussed it with my friend Emily and she didn't believe me and today I saw a tweet from Susan Yara you guys need to follow her if you are beauty people she was saying um, so yeah I've been not wearing makeup for two weeks 14 days and my skin isn't getting better so the whole like not wearing makeup BS I think so and it also depends on your skin type I guess like my skin looks okay but I can feel bumps here and there now I'm gonna bronze up my face with this pure cosmetics contour diaries going in with the shade passion now I'm gonna contour wow the shade has rubbed off Oh no, I just can't see it. Secret. thing that I always do no matter what, even if it's like a little bit of makeup, is contour my nose. Because I don't have a nose. It's like an absolute thing. Like my nose, my brows, at least, has to be done. Well, I'm going to put my blush on now. This is a Tarte Amazonian clay blush that I, you get at like your like birthday in Sephora. Party! Because it's got three A's. Ha, 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 you know? Why do you have to stutter? Because it's uh, 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 uh. Now I'm gonna spritz my face. Make it rain. This is too cool for school. I've always been too cool for school. Straight A student, teacher's pet. <laughs> Nerd. Can you drop out of high school? Because I could. I skipped senior year in high school because I got fucking bored. Okay, teacher's pet. Keep going. I'm gonna highlight! I'm gonna go in with Becca Cosmetics. I'm gonna go in with Becca Cosmetics highlight in the shade Champagne Pop. <laughs> Champagne pop. Ooh, so pretty. So in just the usual areas of my face. So gorgeous. I have to say that this Becca highlight by Jaclyn Hill is one of the most like all-time OG highlight. You can make it seem so natural and subtle, and you can go ham with it. Okay, and now I'm going to curl my lashes. Don mascara. This is the Hourglass Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. One thing's for sure though is that my lash has been doing so well. Probably because like I'm giving that a rest. I think lashes is actually one of the things that you need to give a rest on your face. Plus, uh, Hollywood Lashes Serum is my ride or die. I'm literally on my fourth or fifth bottle. Shout out to Rosa, babe. Rosa's serum literally like told my lash to get the fuck up and groove and it did. I'm gonna go with my lips. So the color of I brought a few options all by this Thai brand that I love for U2 Cosmetics. So this is one of their new products. This is the Heart Dance collection and it's in the color Funky Monkey. W36. Now they have two uh, formulas, so I have the wet one. And it's basically like a tint, but it's <clears throat> nourishing and it stays on. Wow, that's not red, but okay. The packaging is a lie. Is it not red? No. On screen it is, but in real life it's not. So uh, with, with this brand, you can never trust the packaging. You always have to swatch. I mean, that's the general consensus for all products, but normally you can kind of gauge, but with these guys, you cannot gauge at all. And now I'm going to spritz my face with this Peony Water by 3 Concept Eyes. This was introduced to me by my friend Paris. It, I love this product. This one is actually water, like, well, the, the product mixed with their oil. So it gives you this glow that is just so amazing. So people with oily skin might not like this. And that's it, guys. Okay, hey guys, so that was it. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you to my brother who is helping me film. I think from now on, he's going to be filming all my videos. <laughs> I 
just read a message. What message? Busted a nut. <laughs> I'm gonna go now because I have shit to do. Okay. Peace.